on. One more tunnel and we're out of here. Keep firing. Don't let them near the truck. Hurry up and shoot. Try and lose it the next crossing! Can you hear me? Over here! We should be good here. Yeah, well, I saw the wreck and figured I'd help if I could. People gotta look out for each other out here, you know? Name's Alexi. Your friends? Haven't seen them. How many of you were there? There were two newly infected over there just now. It's possible that... Well, I didn't see anyone else. Didn't see any dogs either, though, so... Look, kid, standing around and processing your feelings isn't gonna help anyone right now. I'm not sure how many infected are around here, so we've gotta move. Make a machete so you can defend yourself, and let's go. Check around for supplies, but be careful. I'll be right here if you need anything. Gather up any resources, get your axe out and find a tree. Cut it down to get some wood. Take out your pickaxe and use it on some rocks to mine stone. Sure to pick up any hemp you find. There's a lot of it around and it's extremely useful.
Finish your machete? This way is blocked. Go look around and see if you can find another way out. I'll stay here and try to get this truck started. Don't wander off too far. I can't save your hide every time. Find something? Nice! We'll have food for at least a week now. <laughs> Just kidding, kid. Dog tastes terrible anyway. Yeah. Okay, so no sense of humor. Did you find a way out at least? All right. Worth a shot. Bring your dog and stick with me. Your little friend is amazing! Here, I'll give you a boot. Up you go! <laughs> Remember to push down the ladder! Remember to push down the ladder! You go. In here. Don't forget to. All right. We should be safe enough for now. Look around. See if you hear that. Something's outside the door. It's the infected. They're trying to break in.
another narrow escape. No idea. I don't think I want to know. There's nothing that doesn't involve a car. What a day. Not only did I not find the guy I was looking for, but it almost cost me my life. I just hope we can find a way out of here. Freeze! Turn around and go right back the way you came. We are not risking infection. We're not infected. See? We're fine. You think I'm stupid? You've got their blood all over you. How do we know they didn't infect you? Don't make me shoot you. Get lost. How can I make this more clear? Leave or I shoot you. And what makes you think we want to help your sorry asses? That's right. I could have that thing up and running and... We can do it ourselves. With my help, we could be out of here by sunset. Then none of us have to worry about the infected. Fine. But your gun stays with me. Hand it over. Same boat. You keep your guns, and I'll keep mine. Fine. But I've got my eye on you. No trip. Remember? Hey, let's chat for a second. I need you to watch my back while I fix this thing, and I'd feel safer if you had this. So take it. Just don't... All right. 
Gotta find somewhere safe and plan our next move. Pretty run down, huh? Situation's pretty bad. We got no transportation, no radio, and there's a big whatever that thing is on the other side of the water. I gotta think for a bit. Don't worry, though. This isn't the worst jam I've ever been in. Shelter first, though. So, fix up this cabin. Weird place for a cabin, though. Get to it, then. I'll keep watch from here. I'm gonna get the lay of the land. Meet me down by the riverbank. <laughs> Does that say Lazaroff? That name means an awful lot to me. He and I went through hell and back. A few times. Mm-hmm. We served in the war together. Back when the infection first broke out. Even saved my life once. More importantly, though, he's the one I'm out here looking for. Yeah, no. More than that, I guess. Look, back then, he and I were on a mission. We were protecting a food transport for some high-ranking officers. Only it was Lazaroff who figured out it was a suicide mission and went AWOL. So, we deserted. Soon after that, we set up a refugee camp of our own, saving people from the infected and dodging the army. Things were going good. But eventually, the army caught up with Lazaroff's family and detained them. He never gave up looking for them. But he's been missing longer than usual this time. I think something may have happened to him. And now there's this clue. Well, that is why I came out here. Uh, I guess you're right. This place isn't safe. 
Let's head back up and batten down the house. It's just... it's dangerous out here alone. Hang on, I hear something. Look, there's an opening. 
Looks like there's a shelf or a massive underground laboratory. Who's there? I... I don't recognize you. Me? <laughs> I'm the king of irony. A dying man with the keys to life itself. We were studying cellular necrobiology and infected test subjects. We were researching the virus. But something happened. All the test subjects mutated, becoming something more than human. It was beautiful. Of course we were. How else are we supposed to... Anyway... One of the subjects, the virus made him massive, and incredibly violent. Subject Lazarov, I'll carry the memory. I'm Dahl. Lazarov? Say it again. Did you say Lazarov? What did you do to him? He transcended. The virus made him so much more. He is beautiful now. His mouth a flower of teeth, pure hunger. His skin black as night. He's outside now, hunting, consuming. I suppose I'm free now too. <laughs> Lazarov. Damn it. <laughs> 